So now a little bit additional material. If uh, you want to understand really well why such games like Harvest Time are popular in Game Diverse, you've got to um, understand a little bit geography of Game Diverse and a little bit of its history. So we again go back to the late 70s of the 21st century when nature turned against humanity. So first insects started to mutate, then birds, then mammals, then all the other animals and plants. So humanity fled from villages to little towns, then to big towns, then they started to big polis, so those gargantuan cities made of towers, and then they fenced those cities with ABB barriers, anti-bios barriers. Uh, energetic fences that uh, made the cities cages. People now at the end of the 22nd century live in cities cages that are fenced. So you could say that humanity is besieged by nature. Forests are very, very dangerous. You cannot just walk into the forest because you would die there in a matter of two minutes maybe. Only the well-trained and well-equipped uh, people uh, known as outrangers may walk there and survive there. So now you understand why nature is dangerous for people, why uh, they don't walk into the forest, why they, they don't have gardens. Gardens are very, very expensive. Only the richest citizens of Game Diverse possess gardens. They live in floating uh, houses, they are called gravillas, and they have their own houses, but they are very, very rich. Some people living on the top of the towers, on the tops of the towers, have very little gardens, but all the other citizens rather are afraid of the nature. So when he has the possibility to enter the game where he can touch the plants, where he, where he can grow the plants, where he can take care of them and everything is safe, it's a real treat.